Welcome to Gaia Yoga, my friends. Today's vinyasa flow will be focused around warrior one pose. We'll be trying different variations, going through lots of vinyasas to build up the heat and feel warm and energized after the practice. We'll begin the practice from our child's pose. So lower down to your knees, send the hips back. If you feel more comfortable with your knees open, you can do so if your hips are not touching the heels. You can roll a towel and put it at the back of your knees and we put a pillow to feel a little bit more comfortable, more relaxed. Extend the arms and lower your forehead down. Closing your eyes gently and focus on the third eye, the area between your eyes. Relaxing your face muscles, your jaw. Taking a moment to tune in and observe how you feel at the beginning of the practice, if there is anything that's worrying you. If there is any discomfort in your physical body. Observe how your lower back feels, your hips, your middle back and your shoulders. Observe what's going on in your mind, if there are any unnecessary thoughts. Take a deep inhale and let them go away as you exhale. Inhale. And exhale. When you're ready, slowly walk your palms all the way to the left and stretch the right side of the torso, keeping your hips on top of the heels. And return back to center and walk your palms all the way to the right. Inhale and exhale slowly, returning back to center. Lower the elbows down, right under the shoulders. Press the palms into the mat, spread the fingers and find your cats and cows in this position. So as you inhale, send your tailbone back and up and lift your sternum up, gaze up towards the ceiling. So you will not be able to move too much but you should feel your spine moving and muscles stretching. Exhale, round, tuck the chin. Inhale, arch. Subtle movements. Exhale, round, press the whole forearms into the mat, round your back, tuck the chin. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Inhale, return to neutral. Lift the hips. And transition to a tabletop on your elbows. And let's try our cats and cows in this position. Inhale, find the arch in your back. Send the tailbone up. Send your shoulders back and lift your sternum. Trying to widen your collarbones. Feel a nice squeeze in your middle back. And exhale, press the forearms into the mat. Engage the glutes, tuck your tailbone and round, round your back and bring your chin in towards the chest. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Inhale, return to neutral and now extend the arms, transition into your tabletop and our regular cats and cows. Inhale, find your arch, send the tailbone up, send your shoulders back and down. 
Exhale, round your back, tuck the tailbone, tuck the chin. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Inhale, arch. And exhale, round. Stay here. Keep pulling the navel in towards the spine. Glue it towards the spine and start exhaling forcefully. Drawing the navel in even closer towards the spine. Stay here for a moment. And exhale, gently release. And begin making big, big, big circles with your hips, warming up your hip joints, your spine, low back, and changing the direction when you're ready. And then when you're ready, slowly walk the palms to the front and sink your chest, keeping your hips over the knees if possible. And going as low as you can, maybe you can touch the floor with your chest, you can bring the block under the chest. Observe the sensations in your middle back, your shoulders. You can lower the chin down. Engage the core, inhale, press the palms into the mat to lift the elbows up and walk the palms back, placing it under the shoulders, curl the toes, lift the knees, reach your chest towards the thighs, press the floor away from you and start extending your legs, sending the tailbone up. Observe the sensations at the back of your legs, walking your dog, moving your hips from side to side. You can rotate your head from side to side, letting go any tension in your neck, in your upper back. Bring your feet together, inhale, lift both heels up. Exhale, reach the chest towards the thighs, keeping your legs straight. Inhale and exhale now, rotate the feet, the heels towards the right side and lower the heels down and sink your chest even more. Observe the sensations. I feel a lot in my right calf muscle. Inhale, lift both heels up and exhale, send both heels to the left side of the room and try to touch the floor, straightening your legs and reaching the chest towards the thighs, spreading the weight evenly between both palms. You can play with lifting the toes and observe how it feels. Inhale, lift both heels up. And as you exhale, curl the toes to bring the top of the toes onto the mat. Inhale, straighten the legs. Exhale, reach the chest towards the thighs. Observe the nice stretch at the top of the feet, the front of your ankles. Keeping your core engaged, roll the biceps out, pressing the whole palms into the mat. You can bend the knees, engage in between the palms, and exhale, extend the legs. Inhale and exhale, uncurl the toes. Walk in your dog one more time. 
inhale and exhale slowly walk your feet to the front of the mat step into the front of the mat finding yourself in your standing forward fold bend your knee slightly you can relax your arms you can grab opposite elbows gently swing your torso from side to side you can shake your head from side to side forward and back letting go any tension in your neck inhale and exhale let go of the hold on your elbows straighten your right leg bend in your left knee and bring your left palm either on the floor or top of the block and find the twist towards the right rotate the chest to the right stacking the shoulders and reaching your right fingertips up towards the ceiling observing the sensations at the side of your right leg your IT band maybe your hip breathe observe the sensations inhale and exhale lower your right palm down and switch sides straighten your left leg bend in your right knee bring in your right palm to the floor or maybe you can just touch the fingertips and have your base or the wrist off the mat and rotate the chest staking your shoulders keeping your hips in a neutral position maybe bring the weight a little bit forward to the ball of the left foot and extend your left arm breathe press four corners of your left foot into the mat straightening your leg lifting the kneecap up engaging the quadricep engaging the spine inhale and exhale slowly lowering your left palm down bending your knees swinging your arms up towards the ceiling finding yourself in a squatted position in your chair pose making sure the knees don't go over the toes send the hips back as far back as possible keeping your back straight breathe observe the sensations draw your shoulders down engage the core and let's add 10 pulses here just pulse a little down towards the floor one squeeze the glutes squeeze your inner thighs three four five six seven eight nine ten and now lift your right foot off the mat and extend the leg send the heel to the front of the room inhale and exhale release and switch sides lift your left foot off the mat straighten the left leg engage the core engage the glutes send the heel to the front flex the foot inhale exhale release let's do 10 more pulses here one squeeze the glutes two three four five six engage the core straighten the back seven eight nine ten inhale and slowly start rising up squeeze the glutes squeeze 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 and relax and slowly lower the arms down observe the blood rushing down towards the fingertips and observe the heat spreading through your whole body close your eyes and observe if if your mind is a little bit more quiet if you're a little bit more tuned in when you're ready bring the palms towards the heart center feet together inhale lift the arms up if you wish you can bend your knees slightly and find a gentle back bend engage the core and lift the sternum up lift 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 exhale 
slowly start folding down, standing forward fold, reaching the palms to the floor or the shins, reaching the nose towards the knees. Inhale, lift the chest half, yeah. Straightening the spine. Exhale, press the palms into the mat, step, or if you're ready, you can jump back into plank and lower down to your knees, chest and chin or chaturanga. During the practice, take the variation that works for you. Inhale, extend the torso, finding your upward dog or cobra. Exhale, engage the core, send the hips back, curl the toes, downward dog. Observe how your downward dog is beginning to feel. Maybe your legs are a little bit more wound up. You can reach the heels a little closer towards the floor. Inhale, send the gaze to the front. You can walk or if you're ready, you can jump to the front of the mat. Inhale, lift the chest halfway up. Exhale, reach the nose towards the shins, forward fold. Inhale, slowly start rising up, keeping your back as straight as possible, finding your back bend. And exhale, lower the arms down. Deep Ujjayi breathing, inhaling and exhaling through the nose, keeping your mouth closed. Inhale, lift the arms up, find your back bend. Exhale, slowly fall down. Inhale, lift the chest halfway up. And if you're ready, jump back to plank and chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, lift the hips up, downward dog. Couple of deep inhales and exhales. Tuck the chin, engage your pelvic floor, draw the navel in. Focus your attention on your third eye. Relax your face muscles. Mm -hmm. Inhale, send the gaze to the front. Exhale, step walk or jump to the front of the mat. Inhale, lift the chest halfway up. Exhale, standing forward fold. Inhale, rise up to standing and find your back bend. Exhale, lower the arms down. Inhale, bend the knees, find your chair pose, reach the arms up. Exhale, standing forward fold. Inhale, lift the chest halfway up. Exhale, jump back, chaturanga, downward dog. Inhale, upward dog. If you wish, you can add another chaturanga, optional. And then back to downward dog. Drop your left heel down 45 degrees. Step your right foot forward. Inhale, warrior one. And exhale, frame the foot. Step your foot back to plank. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, adding another chaturanga if you wish. And up, downward dog. Drop your right heel down. 
Step your left foot forward. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, frame the foot, step it back to plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, back to chaturanga. Downward dog. Five deep inhales and exhales. Tuck the chin. And get your pelvic floor. Reach the heels down. Draw the biceps out. Inhale, send the gaze to the front. Exhale, step, walk, or jump to the front of the mat. Inhale, lift the hips. Lift the chest halfway up. Exhale, fall down. Inhale, bend the knees and lift the arms up. Find your chair. Exhale, stand up tall. Lower the arms down. Inhale, lift the arms, find your back bend. Exhale, folding down. Inhale, lift the chest halfway yeah. up. Exhale, jump back to plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, just an option, chaturanga. And then downward dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Keep your hips squared. Straighten the left leg and reach the left heel down. Push your right heel to the back of the room. And add 10 pulses up towards the ceiling. One, two, breathe. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Inhale. Exhale, bend the knee, reach the knee towards the chest. And now extend the leg, place the foot between the palms, drop your back heel down, 45 degrees, lift the arms, find your warrior one. Breathe, observe the sensations. Front knees bent, 90 degrees, back leg is straight. Your hips are open in a neutral position. Draw your shoulders back and down. Energizing the arms. Inhale and exhale, lower the arms down and bring them towards the heart center. Inhale, start engaging the core, lifting the sternum up and extending the arms, finding your gentle back bend. Inhale, engage the core. Return to neutral and now lower the arms down, framing your front foot. Step your right foot back to plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, back to chaturanga if you wish. Up plank, downward dog. When you're ready, inhale, lift your left leg up, keeping your right leg straight, reach your right heel down and push your left heel to the back of the room. Lift your left leg higher and now pulse for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Inhale, bend the knee. 
reach the knee towards the chest, shoulders over the wrist, and now position the foot between the palms, drop your back heel down, and rise up, warrior one. Back foot is about 45 degrees, and press through the outer edge of your back foot into the mat, engage, so you should feel the outer side of the leg engaging to your hips are open in a neutral position towards the front, chest over the hips, extend the arms and draw your shoulders down. Breathe. You can close your eyes and visualize the energy going through the feet, up, through the legs, through your spine, through the fingertips. Inhale and exhale, lower the arms down, bring the palms towards the heart center. Root the feet, engage the core, engage the glutes, and start lifting the sternum up, extending the arms up, and finding your back bend. Shoulders away from your ears, front knees bent. Lift the sternum up. Inhale, return to neutral, and exhale, lower the arms down, frame your front foot, step it back to plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, back to chaturanga, downward dog. If you need to take a break at any time of the practice, take your child's pose or any other rest pose that you prefer. You can skip vinyasas and take a child's pose. Observe the heat, observe how your legs are feeling, your back body, your upper back, your shoulders. Inhale, lift your right leg up and step it to the front of the mat. Drop your back heel down and lift the arms up. Find your warrior one. Breathe here. Let's stay here for 10 long inhales and exhales. Try to get a 90 degree angle. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. nine and ten reach the arms into opposite directions engage the core and rotate the chest to the right and find your twisted warrior back bend breathe here inhale and exhale engage the core return back to your T position with the arms and now twist the chest to the left and reverse your warrior two. Inhale and exhale, slowly frame your front foot. Step your right foot back to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, if you wish, chaturanga. And press up, downward dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up, bend the knee and bring the foot to the front of the mat. Drop your back heel down, engage the core and rise up. Warrior one. 
keep your front knee bent, find your position, press through the outer edge of your back foot into the mat, neutral hips, and 10 inhales and exhales. Energize the arms. One. Two. Three. Four, engage the glutes. Five. Six. You can close your eyes and focus on the breathing. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Inhale and exhale. Open your arms into a T, engage the core, rotate the chest to the left and find your twisted back bend here. Keeping your front knee bent, slide your left palm down your back thigh. Engage the core, slowly release. Turn back to your T arms and now rotate the chest to the right. Flip your front palm up. Reversing your warrior. Inhale and exhale, frame your front foot. Step your left foot back into plank, child's pose if you wish, or roll through vinyasa. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, lift the hips up, downward dog. Five inhales and exhales, engage the core, lift the kneecaps up, engage the quadriceps, and press the flow away from you, roll the biceps out. Inhale, lift your right leg up and bring the foot to the front of the mat. Drop your back heel down and lift the arms up for your warrior one. Now find your eagle arms. Bring your right arm under the left and cross your forearms and maybe bring the palms together. Lift the elbows up. Feel a nice stretch in your upper back and your shoulders and reach the palms to the front of the room, keeping your front knee bent. Look at the forearms, softening your gaze. Inhale, lift the sternum up, find a gentle back bend and keep reaching the palms away from you. Inhale, return to neutral and exhale, find your humble warrior. Reach the palms to the floor. Inhale, press through the front foot, slowly rise up. And release the cross of your arms, circle your arms, relax your shoulders. And now send the palms towards the low back. Close the base of the wrist, interlacing the fingers. And open the chest, squeeze your shoulder blades, shoulders away from your ears. If you wish, you can move your head from side to side. My neck is cracking right away, stretching your neck. Inhale, lift the sternum up, find your back bend, slide your palms down. 
engage the core. Exhale, fall down, humble warrior. Reach the palms to the front of the room. Press through the front foot. Inhale, rise up. Find your back bend. Engage the core. Exhale, fall down. Inhale, rise up. And exhale, fold down. Reach the palms to the front of the room. Inhale, engage the glutes, rise up. Exhale, fold down. Press through the front foot. Inhale, rise up. Let go of the hold on the palms. Bring the palms together. Inhale and exhale. Hook your left elbow outside of your right thigh. So help yourself to move the belly uh, away to the left. And bring the left ribs towards the thigh. Bring the palms together and find your twist. Trying to keep your back heel on the mat. Sending your right hip back. Inhale and exhale. Engage the core, engage the glutes. Release, return into neutral. Extend the arms. Reach the arms to the front of the room. Stay here for a moment. Feel your quadriceps engaging, your glutes stretching. Inhale and exhale, frame your front foot and drop your back knee down. Sink your hips for a moment. And now add your quadriceps stretch. Bend your left knee and with your right palm grab your left foot and gently reach the heel towards the glute but try not to force. Carefully with each and every exhale checking if there is a little bit more space to get closer towards the glute. Inhale and exhale, gently release. Lift your back knee up. Step your right foot back to plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, back to chaturanga if you wish. And up plank, downward dog. Observing any differences in the way your left and right side feel. Inhale, lift your left leg up, bend the knee and bring the foot in between the palms. Drop your back, heel down and rise up. Warrior one on the left side. Find your balance, root the feet, and now bring your left arm, arm to the right, crossing the forearms and bringing the palms together, keeping your front knee bent, back leg straight, lift the elbows up, and you should feel right away the stretch coming from your middle back and down your triceps, the back of the shoulders, and now reach the palms to the front. Breathe, gaze towards the forearms, Maybe close the, the eyes. Keeping your glutes engaged. Pressing through the outer edge of your back foot into the mat. Inhale, engage the core, engage the glutes through the feet. Start lifting the sternum up, sending your arms to the back of the room. Sending your elbows to the back of the room. Observe the sensations in your shoulders. Keep your front knee bent. Inhale, engage the core and slowly fold down 
humble warrior variation reaching the forearms to the floor breathe when you're ready press through the front foot and slowly rise up let go of the cross on the arms and carefully relax your arms your shoulders circle the arms And now send the palms towards the low back, interlace the fingers, close the base of the wrist, lift the sternum up, widen the collarbones, squeeze the shoulder blades, and find a gentle back bend here. Slide your palms down. Engage the core, exhale, fold down, reach the chest to the floor, reach the palms to the front of the room. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, fold down. Inhale. Rise up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, rising up. Engage the core. Exhale, fold down. Last one. Inhale up. Exhale. Fold down. Inhale, slowly rise up. Let go of the hold. Bring the palms together and find your twist. Inhale, exhale, rotate the chest to the left and try to hook the elbow. Move the belly away. Press the palms together and send your left shoulder to the back of the room. Inhale and exhale carefully. Release. Extend the arms and reach them to the front and lean the torso forward and feel your quadricep engaging. Front knee bent, keeping your back straight. Inhale and exhale, lower the palms down and drop your back knee down. Sink the hips for a moment. And when you're ready, Rotate the chest to the left, bend your right knee and grab your right ankle with the left palm. Be careful with the knee and carefully reach the heel towards the glute. Stretch your quadricep. Inhale and exhale carefully. Let go of the foot. Frame the front foot. Lift your back knee up. Step your left foot back to plank. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, lift the hips up. Downward dog. Inhale and exhale. Lower the elbows down. Find your dolphin. Sink the hips. Sink the chest to the floor and press your whole forearms, your palms into the mat. Lift the kneecaps up, straighten the legs, pull the navel in, roll the biceps up. Breathe. Inhale and exhale, bend the knees, lower the knees down and send the hips back, find your child's pose.
When you're ready, inhale slowly, lift the torso up. Drop the hips to the side and extend both legs to the front of the room, finding yourself in Dandasana. Engage the quadriceps, flex the feet, and if you really engage the quads, you will feel that the heels are lifting off the mat, shoulders over the hips. Elongate the spine. You can relax your neck, move it from side to side. Reach the crown of the head up, tuck the chin, and reach the palms towards the floor. If the palms are not touching, that's completely fine. If maybe your arms are too long and the elbows are bent, you can just extend them to the sides. Otherwise, you can press them all the way down. Engage your pelvic floor. Inhale and exhale, gently release, relax. Inhale, lift the arms up and exhale, find your seated forward fold. Reach the palms towards the feet, the ankles, the shins, use the belt. Inhale, lift the chest halfway up. If your knees are slightly bent, that's completely fine. Focus on straightening your back. Inhale, engage the core and exhale, reach the belly towards the thighs. Chest towards the ribs, nose towards the shins. Breathe and observe where you feel the stretch. For me, it's the calf muscles. I don't really feel anything in my hamstrings or my back, but I feel a lot here in my lower leg. Let me know in the comments where you feel the stretch. You can play with pointing and flexing. When I point the toes, I don't really feel much. But when I flex, I feel a lot. You can open the feet out to the sides. And now the stretch moved for me to the outside of the legs. You can play with rolling the ankles as you are folding forward and see how it feels. Inhale and exhale. Maybe you can go a little bit deeper. Inhale, lift the chest halfway up. Exhale, keeping your core engaged, release, return to neutral. Inhale, bend your right knee and drop your right knee out to the side and trying to keep your hips and sit bones in one line and press the sole of the right foot into your left leg, engage your left thigh. Inhale, lift the arms up and exhale, fold down. Inhale, lift the chest halfway up. Exhale, return to neutral, bending your left knee and with your right palm, grab the outside of the left foot, bring your left palm to the floor, keeping your spine tall, elongate the spine, shoulders away from your ears, neck is long. And now start extending your left leg, pushing the left heel to the front of the room, finding your twist with your spine long and straightening your left leg if possible. You can use the belt and observe where you feel the stretch. Inhale and exhale. Gently release, but don't let go of the left leg. Just hug the shin and gently rock 
from side to side. So don't really force the knee to the, the leg to move, just move from the hip. Maybe you can hold on to the foot and reach the foot towards the left ear. So send the knee as far back as possible and reach the foot towards the ear. Inhale and exhale, gently release. And now extend both legs. Relax the legs, relax the knees. And now bend your left knee. Drop the knee out to the side, keeping your sit bones in one line. Pressing the sole of the foot into the thigh. Engage in your right leg. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, fold down. And observe where you feel the stretch. Inhale, lift the chest halfway up. Exhale, return to neutral, bend in your right knee. And with your left palm, grab the right foot from the outside. Elongate the spine, rotate the chest to the right, bring your right palm to the floor and slowly start extending your right leg, pushing the heel away from you, straightening the leg and observe the sensations on the outside, your IT band, outside of the knee, the side of the calf muscle. You can play with pointing and flex in the foot if you wish. Observe the sensations in your upper back, maybe your shoulder. And keep elongating the spine, getting out of your lower back. Inhale and exhale, slowly release and holding on to your Shin, hug the shin, bring the foot to the crease of your left elbow and gently rock, stretching your outer right hip. Breathe. And now you can hold on to the foot. Carefully send the knee back. And now externally rotate the hip and reach the foot towards the ear if possible. Inhale and exhale, carefully release. And now if you need to extend the legs to shake off any tension and now bring your feet in towards the groin, open your knees out, holding on to the feet, you can bring the palms, you can bring, uh, interlace the fingers right under the toes and open your knees out. Inhale. Again, you can let go any tension in your neck, your upper back, and exhale, slowly start folding down. Reaching your belly button towards the heels. Reaching the knees down. Using the core to reach your chest, your core, your, your belly towards the floor. You can help yourself with pushing your knee, your elbows into the inner thighs if they're touching the thighs. Inhale, lift the chest up. And exhale, slowly release. Relax the ankles. And slowly extend both legs out to the sides. 
Inhale, lift the arms up. Keep your back straight, shoulders away from your ears. Engage the legs, flex the feet. And slowly start folding down. Keep rolling your thighs out. And fold down, engage the glutes. Keeping your back straight. Reach, reach, reach. And hold. Push the heels away from you. And maybe all the way down. Or if you're not able to touch the floor, just bring the palms. Maybe the elbows. You can play with moving your torso from side to side. It helps me stretch the inner thighs, the inner groin. The lines that come through the inner part of the knee down towards the pelvis. I feel a lot, especially on the left side, if I move from side to side. Keeping your feet and quadriceps engaged. Breathe and observe the sensations. We can reach your chest towards one leg and then the other. Inhale, slowly rise up. Start bringing your legs together. You can lean back and, and start bending the knees, moving the knees from side to side, letting go any tension in your hips, inner thighs. And when you're ready, slowly roll down to your spine. Squeeze the knees in towards the chest. And when you're ready, extend your legs, press the palms into the mat and transition into your shoulder stand. Breathe. You can play with pointing and flexing your feet, circling the ankles, lowering one leg to the floor and reaching the upper leg to the front and then switch. You can open them out to the sides into a split. Inhale and exhale, lower both legs down to the floor for your plow position. If you're not able to touch the floor, put the blocks, maybe somebody can help you. Or chair. You can, walk, you can walk your legs to the left side of the room. And maybe bring both knees towards the left ear. And then switch side. Walking your legs to the right. And then reach both knees towards the right ear. Be careful with the neck. Inhale. And exhale, slowly start rolling out. Press the palms into the mat. Engage the core, engage the glutes. Squeeze your inner legs together, inner thighs together. And start closing the gap between your belly and your thighs. And try to keep the space as close as possible for as long as possible. So walk, walk, walk. 
So compress your thighs into the belly and hold, 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 hold. And when you're ready, keeping your inner thighs engaged, protect your lower back, lower the legs down. Breathe. If you need to, you can play with twisting here, letting go any tension in your back. And prepare for your Shavasana. Extending your legs, extending your arms, palms facing up, closing your eyes. Scanning your body, making sure each and every cell are completely relaxed. You can stay in Shavasana for as long as you wish. If you're ready to finish the practice with me, you can move your toes, your fingers. And when you're ready, roll to your right side for your fetal position. And slowly build your way up to a comfortable seated position, keeping your eyes closed, staying connected to your practice. Taking a moment to observe how you feel, observe your physical body your energetic body, observe what's going on in your head. Thank you guys for joining me for this practice. I hope you feel great after this class. It was very, very um, energizing for me. I felt really, really warm during the practice, even though the room is really, really cold. And now I feel kind of cold. So let me know how you feel. I'm really happy you joined me today. Share with your friends, follow me on Instagram. Until we practice again, namaste.